Bus is a long way away from catching up with the world of tourism. That being said, there are not many options for budget travel here in Kitty Bus. Kitty Bus is not that expensive to travel, but like many places in the world where tourism isn't up there, there are not very many options other than hotels. And knowing me as a backpacker, hotels are way out of my budget, which caused me to search one of my favorite options of travel, Airbnb. Hotels cost anywhere from 40 to 50 to even 120 Australian dollars a night, which is a bit out of my budget if I want to extend my stay, use some time to travel, and kick back and relax. Fortunately, there are a handful of Airbnbs, this being one of them, and it costs only $20 US per night. It's super affordable, super basic, but that's all I need is a place to crash and a place to kick back, stretch out, and relax. This is house one of my Tarawa Airbnb. My first place was a whole house, I had a whole kitchen. I had my own bathroom, my own room. There was even a living room. It's just me. It was too much space to be honest. But it was just perfect enough for me for my budget travel to enjoy Tarawa and kick back and relax. One of the best things about this is that the families next door, they're very kind, they're very helpful, very hospitable. Breakfast comes with the place. There wasn't any breakfast waiting for me, but they gladly went out of their way to buy some stuff to have for breakfast because the listing did say that there was breakfast. I've also had the pleasure of joining the family for dinner once or twice, had tea once, and even had a kava night on Saturday night. The family here reflects the Kiribas culture as they're very warm and welcoming to outsiders. Imatang as they call me. The village is on the western end of South Tarawa, which is two villages away from Baireki and not much further to Besu. This is definitely a first of my travels. The water in the sink is, is not so good to drink, but they have their own little tap from the... Check this out. Let's force it here. Give you some clean water. Well. And yeah, of course, no surprise here in the Central Pacific, it's very hot. But what I enjoy about this place the most is the fact that it's on the ocean, it's on the sea. They have fans here, but once the sun starts to set, it's not so warm and the breeze feels unbelievable. So open all the doors and all the windows and it's nice and relaxing. I set my departure day to leave one day, but I found out that Air Kiribati flights are on a different day, so I asked the family if I could stay two extra days. Instead of keeping me in the original room, they moved me into another room because there was a guest at no cost, no charge. I offered to give them money or buy them something that they need. They asked for sugar, I bought them sugar. All in all, they allowed me to stay two extra nights. House number two is even more spacious than the first house. It's actually a little nicer. It has air conditioning, but it actually doesn't work, which is fine. The stove doesn't work like the first house, but if I need anything, I could just go to the family. And the bed, unlike some places in the Pacific Islands, I like the first house. It's actually very comfortable and I couldn't ask for more. Even got my own living room space to pop open my laptop and watch movies. This is very basic. Some rooms don't have light or electricity. Mosquitoes are an absolute pain. I have to put deep and I have to put a mosquito coil on almost constantly. I'm really simple when it comes to places to stay, so I really don't have too many complaints as this has put a roof over my head. The one thing I do have to share, and I just happen to be unlucky because this is South Tarawa, the dogs are vicious here. It is a little bit of a walk from the main road. I happen to get unlucky walking back to my place at night got attacked by a pack of eight or nine dogs, vicious, hostile dogs. I managed to outrun all of them, except one managed to bite me in the butt. Thankfully, it was only a surface wound, but they do say, when you walk around Tarawa, make sure you carry a stick. But better yet, don't walk around at night. This has nothing to do with the place. The family was super helpful in making sure I was okay. Other than that unlucky experience, my stay is absolutely amazing. It's no surprise that the host is not here in Kiribati. The host is actually in Australia. She's there to communicate with the guests and communicate with the family to help the family and guests communicate. Everyone's been super kind, super helpful, and super accommodating. I can't speak for all of Kiribati, but Tarawa, I will say from what I've seen, has got to share its problems. It's an imperfect place. It's really not meant for the tourist. It definitely is meant for the traveler like myself. It's my last night here in this Airbnb. Thankfully, I've got an extension of two nights to be able to kick back and prepare for outer island travel. But for an Airbnb here in Tarawa and Kiribati, this was a great place to plant my feet, kick back, relax, 
unfortunately get bitten by dogs, but prepare for my onward travel. This is yet another accommodation review. I hope you make it here in Tarawa. Be careful with the dogs. People are absolutely amazing. They're very hospitable, and it's a very unique experience here. Cheers, guys, and happy staying.